The earth provides us with food, entertainment, and beauty. We play in its parks, swim in its oceans, and climb to its highest mountaintops. But we also throw trash on the ground, poison sea life with chemicals, and waste food and water on a daily basis. Protecting our planet should be a priority for all. Even though we may lead busy lives, there are many ways we can make a difference. By changing a few small things in your daily life, we can all work together to begin saving tomorrow. Every day, Americans waste enough food to fit a 90,000 seat football stadium. Much of the food wasted is from restaurants, home cooked meals, and school lunches. Did you know that $1.2 billion in food is wasted from school lunches alone? Millions of students receive school lunches every day. Most schools require their students to grab either a fruit or vegetable for their tray. But that can cause a problem when it comes to food waste. Most students do not eat the fruit or vegetable they're required to get. Instead, they toss it in the trash. Our school definitely has a lot of food waste and so do all the other schools in the county. Um, just eat your food that you take, try something new. They can help reduce waste by eating what they take. I know the government mandates that they have to have a fruit or vegetable on their tray. Try to eat some of it. Don't just take it straight to the garbage and throw it away. Some of it's really good, but a lot of kids won't even try them. Many schools use easy styrofoam throwaway trays. This is because they help prevent foodborne illnesses as they are single use and don't need to be cleaned. However, a 2011 study by the U.S. Federal Health Regulator said that styrene, which is a compound found in the styrofoam trays, is linked to be capable of causing cancer. Styrofoam also appears to last forever due to its resistance to the breaking down of materials. Cleveland State University revealed that it requires more than a million years to decompose. So how can you and I help in these two areas? First of all, why not treat the cafeteria like another classroom? If we learn more about it, we can help reduce it. Students can calculate and measure the cost of food waste, help grow fruits and vegetables, and compost food scraps right in their own backyard. There are uh, multiple ways of actually establishing a composting bin. There is what they call a cold composting pile, is what you see that I'm doing over here on the ground, is allowing uh, organic matter break down over a long period of time that typically takes about one to two years. This spinner barrel, which typically will spin and, uh, and put a lot of oxygen and breaks it down, which uh, brings in a lot of heat. Typically, you want to keep a heated pile at uh, 130 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and you want to um, rotate and uh, turn your pile about every week to two weeks. As for the problem of styrofoam trays, we can urge our cafeteria manager or principal to find out if our school district has plans to change to reusable trays and silverware, or why not try something like Trayless Tuesday and use paper boats to serve the food instead. The cafeteria can make Tuesday's menu a non-messy food to make it easy to carry. That way, the paper boats can be recycled. Speaking of recycling, 75% of our waste is recyclable, although Americans only recycle about 30% of it. If we get to that 75%, its effect is almost like removing 50 million cars from the road. Polk County schools have access to on-campus recycling programs. These provide schools with recycling pickup once a week. Scott Reeves, Polk County Schools Recycling Coordinator and President of Keep Polk County Beautiful, is proud of the progress schools are making in the area of recycling. Well, Chloe, since 2006, the school board of Polk County has worked very hard to try to keep all of our campuses supplied with totes just like this so that they can have a recycling program on campus that's both, both easy for the staff to use but also cost efficient for the school. Totes like these allow the schools to recycle items such as plastics, number one through four, steel cans, aluminum cans, classroom paper, office paper, and we even have larger dumpsters to recycle cardboard in. The best thing that students can do is get involved. If your school has a recycling club or a green team, join. If you don't have one, work with school administration to try and start one. Remember, we're recycling for our future. Trash is an inevitable part of our lives. Learning to dispose of it properly is important. If we choose recyclable or reusable products, we can keep our products lasting longer and keep them out of landfills. If we recycle our bottles at school instead of putting them in the trash, that can also help. Well, to keep it clean and make the most immediate impact, they should do random acts of recycling or cleaning. They should go around school and uh, make sure that they're using reusable items so that more trash is not found around school. In addition to food waste and recycling, there are many little ways to help save the environment. These include joining a local park, river, or beach cleanup group, planting a tree, carpooling, buying food straight from the farm or at a farmer's market. 
Growing your own organic garden or planting a pollinator garden to attract bees and butterflies in order to increase their population. A way we can stop the earth from dying is stop throwing our trash out of a car window or a bus. A way that we can help the environment is to stop throwing trash into sewer drains. Get what you can eat. Um, I know a lot of times you eat with your eyes, but get what you can eat. Um, that way a lot of food is not wasted. And then the food that it can be recycled or composted, use it and put it in the right directed place instead of just throwing it in the trash can. A way we can help with the environment is to stop overpopulating the earth. Things teens can do to help the environment is stop wasting plastic. Teens can start recycling. Um, it's, recycling is huge these days. It's going to be so much more important in the near future. What I do to help the environment is I pick up trash that is laid out on the street. To save tomorrow today, teens can stop using plastic. If they use plastic, they need to recycle. Also, they need to stop wasteful buying because it increases uh, trash and carbon in the air. What I would do to help the environment is recycle or uh, throw my food in compost bags. What I would do to um, save the um, earth is to um, recycle more and to save our animals. There is one more thing I would like to say to today's teens about recycling. Remember, you can make a difference. One person can make a difference. Focus on the changes that you can make locally talk to your peers and educate them on why they should be good stewards of the environment and work towards a better future. And remember to recycle. We have a beautiful planet and it's up to us to keep it that way so its beauty can be enjoyed by future generations. It starts with everyone taking small steps in their everyday lives. Let's all work together to begin saving tomorrow, today. Chloe Lanham, TSC News.